Good morning, STM. My name is Mary Paul, and I'm coming to you today from your Diversity Committee. Today is the feast day of St. Josephine Bakita, who was born in 1869 in Sudan. At a very young age, she was kidnapped and sold into slavery. The excessive beatings and trauma caused her to forget her birth name, and the kidnappers chose to name her Bakita, which ironically means fortunate. After years of brutal abuse and slavery, she was sold to an Italian consul. This led her to the Catholic Church and eventual freedom. She was baptized in 1890 and was given the name Josephine. She decided to become a religious sister and was beatified in 1992, dedicating her life to serving others. St. Josephine Bakita passed away on February 8, 1947. Since, the day has been recognized as her feast day and the International Day of Prayer and Awareness against Human Trafficking. Finally, she was named the Patron Saint of Sudan at her canonization ceremony in the year 2000. Now please join me in a prayer of dedication to St. Makita. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, we pray for the souls that have been lost to slavery, human trafficking, and exploitation. And just as importantly, we pray for those who, are experienced, who have experienced and are currently suffering through modern forms of exploitation and slavery. As St. Josephine Bakita earned her freedom through you, we pray the same for all victims. However, we also pray that you can grant us the courage as voices for the voiceless to stand up and work towards justice for all. Loving God, we pray that you bless us with the same charity, patience, wisdom, and love that you filled St. Bakita with. Guide us to serve you just as she did. Amen. St. Josephine Bakita, pray for us. St. Thomas More, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, STM. The United Way is a vital organization that directly helps people in need right here in the STM community. With Asher, he's, he's only three years old, but we didn't think that it was too early for him to start uh, realizing the impact of giving back to the community. A lot of people don't understand what United Way is all about, and part of what I like to do is, is be able to sway them to understand more about what it's all about. He gets the opportunity to experience camp like every other child. Without the assistance of United Way, I don't think we'd be able to do what we do with Evan. If the United Way wasn't there, the game change probably wouldn't happen. That was the, the help that I needed. We'd just be a mess without the United Way. Thanks to the kindness of the United Way and volunteers, I'm, I'm able to have a decent life. Together we are possible. show our support for the United Way, students and staff are encouraged to wear a red or white shirt this Wednesday, February 15th. Students and staff are also encouraged to donate to the United Way fundraiser using school cash online. A $2 donation will earn you a ballot into our United Way raffle. A $10 donation will earn you five raffle ballots and so forth. Many great prizes and gift cards will be raffled off to students and staff who donate to school cash online with a $100 Visa gift card as the grand prize. Prizes will be drawn next week. St. Thomas More, show that amazing school spirit through your generous online donations. Change starts with you. Good morning, STM. My name is Delina. And my name is Claire. And here are your announcements for today. Graduates, it's imperative that you pay your graduation fee in order for your gowns to be ordered. The earlier you pay the fee, the better your guest tickets will be. A reminder, you must participate in the graduation activities if you want to attend the graduation dinner dance. There will be a brief meeting for all swim team members in room 316 after school Thursday from coaches Tarquinio, Bayless, Thurston, and Shunry. Attention all, attention all potential graduates. The graduation award form is now available on the LMS. Please check the graduation widget. All forms are due by March 24th. Reminder to the junior girls volleyball team of practice today at 5 to prepare for playoff on Thursday. Please dis dismiss the members of the Novice Boys Basketball Team at 2.20 p.m. to prepare for their game against SJB at the SJB gym. Boys, please be in the gym on time, ready for warm-up. Also, please remember to pay for your warm-up shirt on School Cash Online ASAP. This message for the robotics team. There is a meeting today at 2.45 in room 137. STM will be bringing back the step squad. 
Any senior student with experience who is interested in helping start this team should meet in room 336 after school Friday. And now for your sports. Your novice girls volleyball team played their last regular season game last night against BT. The girls played a great game and ultimately won two straight sets. The girls are now sitting in second place overall in the standings and have bought themselves an advanced spot straight to the semifinals. Congrats girls. Practice tonight at 4 p.m. in Gym A. Last night, our junior girls volleyball team finished off the regular season with straight set wins against BT. Way to go, ladies. Playoffs begin this Thursday at 5.30 in our gym. Come cheer on your nights. Go STM. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. Hey, STM. My name is Maria, and I'm here from United Against Racism. To start off, happy Black History Month. UAR has got some great plans for the upcoming weeks to celebrate and recognize the contributions of black individuals around the world in changing the system for the better. Speaking of which, there will be a very important mandatory meeting after school in the lecture hall for all executive and general UAR members. See you then. STM, those are all of your announcements for today. The time is now 8.20. And remember, it's a great day to be a night.